Hey Wargamers, it's Mike from Epic Duck Studios. Today I'm going to be painting green flames on this guild Death Marshal from Malifaux. In this tutorial I'll be using Vallejo paints, but I just go by color descriptions here rather than names so that you can follow along with pretty much any paint line you're using. In this case though I am using Escorpina green, which is a pretty exact match to GW's old Scorpion green. I'm just going to use this color to base coat all the flame areas. I'm going with green because I want a nice supernatural look to this fire as opposed to a normal sort of, you know, orangish red flame. It's important to turn the model around and look at it from a lot of different angles to make sure that the flames are fully base coated and you don't miss any areas. Because obviously it is a 3D model, it's really easy to miss the flames from a certain angle. So you just want to make sure that you look at it from every possible direction and take that into account when you're painting. With the green base coat done, I'm now going to mix the bright green with some pure white, in this case using Vallejo Dead White. This isn't exactly a 50-50 mix, but the important point is that it's more white than it is green. I'm also loading my brush with just a little bit of clean water here and mixing that in as well. So I'm taking this nearly white color and basically finding the parts where the flame is the thickest, which is usually towards the base of the flame, and I'm highlighting that. The idea is that the fire would be warmest at the center, which is going to be the areas that are sort of the larger surfaces of the fire, and then cooler towards the tips, which is where it'll be more of a plain green. Again, because the flames are a 3D object as opposed to, you know, an actual fire which is sort of transparent, you do need to sort of look at it from a couple different angles and make sure that when you highlight an area, it makes sense from more than one direction and just looks good. So just spin the model in your hand and just make sure the flame doesn't look kind of janky and weird from different angles. Now I'm making a glaze by mixing just some plain bright green with some clean water. I'm going to use this glaze for two things. First, I'm going to use it to sort of spill some of the green color onto the surrounding coffin, which gives the appearance of a little bit of light being cast by the flame and just makes it look a little bit less of a stark transition from one surface to the next. I'm also going to use it to go over the flames themselves to bind the two colors together, the you know plain green with the green white mix. This just helps pull the white and the green together and makes the distinction between them a little bit more subtle. Where the flame is kind of spilling out between two planks of the coffin, I'm also running the green just a little bit along that to make it look like the fire is coming from inside the coffin and sort of seeping outwards. This also gives the illusion that there's a little bit of light coming from inside the coffin.
Lastly, I'm basically going to repeat the same process using Vallejo Green Shade. I'm using this as a filter to bind all the green shades together, and also just add a little bit more depth in a few areas. If you don't have Vallejo paints handy, or you can't find this green shade, Bale Tan Green Shade from Citadel or Games Workshop will work just fine for this as well. The idea here is that I'm just lightly brushing this over the flames. I'm not letting it really pool up so much as I'm using it just to lightly tint them. Like the glaze before, the tint just helps bind the different green colors together. Alright, and those flames are done. On the next one, I'll be painting purple flames. Thanks again for watching, and as always, do something epic. The Epic Hobby is made possible thanks to the support of my fans and patrons. If you like what I do, please consider supporting my videos through Patreon.